Welcome back to Tales of Drang Lake, everyone. We are back in Majula with uh, 46k souls, which I'm gonna go ahead and quickly use here. Uh, so we're just after Nashka. Man, that is actually quite a bit. I'm gonna focus on my vigor and endurance here a little bit because it's something I've been neglecting. I realize I've been pumping up my health like crazy, which is not that necessary so far because we are still a very long time away from getting York Spear, so I'm gonna have plenty of time. Anyways, let's go ahead and head back to the Doors of Pharaohs. If I can find it, yeah. I'm gonna, you know, quickly go and have a look through this area. I never go through the Doors of Pharaohs, like, ever. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly take a gander or something like that. Uh, God, this must be so gross. As in, like, being in water that deep, fully clothed. That is some whack shit. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you've ever been, like... If you ever had to go into deep water... Uh, wearing, like, jeans... That shit feels horrible. So we have, like, this... Fucking like, I don't know, Ishing cosplayer here with his Avalon. He's gonna get backstabbed. This guy thinks he's cool with his like pistols, but he isn't. In fact, he's the exact opposite of cool. But this pretty much, this guy pretty much gave the idea for Havelin, I'd say. Uh, so we have that to thank. Do I even have Pharaoh's Lock Stones? Shit, I have 11. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, I never use them. I never use them. Um, yeah, well, might as well get the fucking... This as well, right? Then there's a third one, right? I think. Yeah, there is. Third one, I don't know where. Oh, it's in the water, yeah. This is pretty cool. I mean, again, I have 11 of these and I barely ever use them, so you might as well take a good look at the. Fuck, what is this weapon called? I don't even know. Starts with S. The Santir Spear, yeah, okay. Technically, I could rock this weapon as well. Uh, when it's broken, except from the fact that it's heavy, the issue is that it has the halberd move set, which is a little bit whack. Uh, and then when you break it, it's like really fancy. But I think, from what I've seen, York Spear moveset uh, matches what Ishin does a lot more. It's more of like a strength-ish weapon. Instead of like a twirl it around type deal. I think that's a little bit more fitting. It's crazy. Again, it's crazy how long... It's been since I've visited this place. There's a bunch of shit here too, but... I don't know, like... Nobody ever seriously explores here. Twisted Beric? Is that a new spell? I'm gonna be honest with you, there are so many spells in this game that... It's very possible that Twisted Barricade does exist, I just don't remember it. But I do not seem to recall... Fucking hell, Dark Souls 2. I do not seem to recall, god damn, a spell with that name, honestly. Get back, that bitch. Uh, let me just check that out. Oh, it's this one, yeah. It's this one, the Hex. Um... 
fuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind. Oh yeah, isn't that like you can like fuck with people here? Try not to break the treasure. Yeah, you can, because this is a switch, right? And then... I think that makes that barrier go out. I'm not sure. Fuck. Yeah, because there's a covenant here. Yeah, yeah, the rat covenant. And then the idea is that you can, like... Get people to invade and just, like, fuck with them. Uh, with, like, traps and stuff. What the hell? It's just straight up. <laughs> I think that's a trap as well. Like, spews poison or something. This place is crazy. Uh, it's like... Unfortunately, this was not a very active covenant, like, ever. Okay, let's see if there's anything interesting here. The rest of the way. I am not going to fight the boss, but let's just quickly do a little sprint. God damn, there's a lot of Pharaoh's lock stones. Hmm. See. Oh, you probably need to unlock this, right? That's too much effort. I'm not gonna do that. Oh, by the way, since I'm here, I might as well show the trick, which I'm thinking still works here. But the way you break Santir's spear is you hit a corpse with it. Uh, if you can line up multiple corpses, it works out a lot better. Uh, there is something with this game where, I think because it was switched to 60 FPS, that corpses... It doesn't seem to work that well. I mean, I think it still takes a shitload of time. But corpses deal, like, pretty hefty durability damage to weapons. Uh, just something with the game. Cool, well, that was fun. Uh, one thing that is not fun here is the boss. So, let me just get a move on then. actually get to where we need to be going. I got the great hammer. Let's be careful not to break this chest. Something I always do. Ooh, Ishind. Eat shit, bitch. You got Ishind. It's just the armor, man. That's what I need to sort out. I always forget to look it up, what armor set I'd be using. Hey, no Gavlan. Strange. Did I talk to him, didn't I? Maybe I didn't buy anything from him. Fuck. Oh, but I did. I, th I think I definitely did. Anyways. Coming towards the end of January here. It's currently the 30th. Uh... Definitely as we move into Feb, now that January is over, uh, I'm gonna have more time to record and also I'm gonna be starting a new series. I know I talked about this before previously and I didn't get around to it. Uh, again, I kind of knew that was gonna happen, but I also got busy with work. Because uh, normally I pump out fewer episodes or f like less content in Jan January because of the music stuff on Instagram but this year I was like extra uh, distracted but Feb comes around the new series is gonna be rolling out um, I'm not gonna spoil it exactly but it is Bloodborne related because uh, I've been itching to play Bloodborne and then of course end of Feb is Elden Ring and that's all I need to say about that. It's Elden Ring. So I'm gonna be on that like a fly on shit, as they say. And then 
yeah, but there's pretty much gonna be Elden Ring from then on out. I mean, Bloodborne is not the lengthiest game either, so that's a good thing. I'll be able to finish until Feb. Then I need to get this series finished as well. It's so weird that the the fucking the hawk dies as well. It just it just drops to the ground like it fucking runs out of power or something. It's a what you call it, like a spirit animal or something. Jesus, the pigs. This game is crazy with the oh oh okay 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 okay. This game is pretty crazy with the enemies, and my eyes itching, which is kind of get in the tent quickly. H D I. Get stabbed in the back. It's not good because now I fucking. Okay, there we go. As I itched my eye, I turned my fucking eyelid inside out and it just made the situation much worse. So, put a quick fix to that. While playing Dark Souls 2. Ooh, yeah. Can't exactly strafe enemies in this game. <laughs> it just don't work. Get off of there. These guys are ready. They knew that shit was gonna be cut. Because they're ready. They're coming out swinging. Good for them. And it's this dude. Oh, yeah? Cool. Elegant move. This always takes me like an unusually long time to get inside basically you gotta jump inside the well to get to the treasure which is a hundred percent gonna be a mimic ooh parkour assassin's creed oh come on that wasn't a pig in here before and i don't know why my spear is bouncing off the walls yeah there definitely was not a pig in here And that ladder definitely shouldn't be making a metal noise. Just get away from this thing when it wakes up. It's a staff of wisdom. Well, okay, that is not worth it at all. Cool. I'm gonna jump back on the bonfire. And then we can get going. By the way, there's a fucking crazy windstorm going on outside uh it's been going all day we have like a warning out for uh pretty much all of today and i think even all of tomorrow uh it's just crazy the wind's been like really acting up to me it seems like here where i live uh basically every second winter is just crazy fucking windy uh, and like proper wind storms like 70 80 kilometer hour winds uh, yeah it's not the best because it's kind of annoying uh, like dog walking is not pleasant in huge winds especially it's like knocking down branches and shit But, you know, what can you do? It's just weird. Again, like, that's been the trend. Uh, especially around, like, end of January, February. Like, two years ago, it was absolutely insane. And, uh... This year is one of those years as well. At least to counteract that misery, the temperatures are at least mild. But still... If the episode suddenly cuts off, it's because something knocked out the power. What the hell? They're chanting? Crazy. They're going like... Bo, 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 bo. That is a very interesting uh, sermon. They're talking with their sleep paralysis demons. 
Anyways, uh, shout out to the what the hell? Okay, you've got to be fucking kidding me. All right, you got me, game. You got me. You shit, bitches. All right. At least they have a health bar now. Reach him, reach him before he heals. Fuck. No. Idiot. Backstab this bitch. Get Katana, the asshole. Oh, you have got to be fucking with me. This is still really easy. How the hell did that even hit me? What the shit are these hitboxes, boy? Alright. This thing doesn't have a ranged attack, does it? I'm really hoping it doesn't. Okay, can we please lock on to... Thank you. That she has... Oh, motherfucker. Uh, so they pulled a... They pulled a trick. Not gonna lie, they got me good. Especially since that is. Uh, oh. That is a bullshit ass hitbox. Seriously. Okay, if that had hit me, I would have been like very upset. You and me, buddy. I don't trust this. As in, I don't trust doing more than one attack at a time. And probably, like, pull some social distancing here and. Oh, come on! Okay. He's fast too. These golems are bullshit and they, you fight them in the third DLC. Okay, as well. They're bullshit there too. Oh man, I missed the prowling magus. That homie had a sick, sick outfit. If nothing else. Cool. Okay, you got me good game. Hey, three sunlight medals. Thank you. I suddenly feel like I got my money's worth. That was more difficult. Uh, they were going for more difficult. They achieved it. The hell was that noise? I don't like spider noises. Isn't this where the ladder... Bruh. Isn't this where the ladder is supposed to be? Up to... Or is it on the other side? Oh, there it is. Cool, the bonfire is here. Oh, this is way cooler, actually. It actually is like uh, not full of spiders and everything. It actually looks like a church. Cool. Nice. My spear is going through your crotch, but don't mind that. Okay, I've grown disinterested. Uh, you sell the stuff. Dark crotches, dark crotches. I've not sinned. God, that, that is a badass voice. I can't even do it. Ah, nice. Let's get out of here. 
I like the redesign of that room. It looks way better. I think the bonfire placement makes more sense as well. Just having it in there. Uh, 35k too. Yeah, I think we're gonna go back to Majula. Okay, what should we get? What should we get? I think I'm gonna bump up my vitality a little bit. This is something I always forget. And I think in that previous fight, I'm not sure if maybe I was suffering with the rolls because of my burden. It reduces your iframes, so I'm not sure, just to be sure. Plus, York Spear is heavy as fuck, so we will need to account for that as well as we go on. Alright, let's go. There's a fucking crystal lizard as well. Ah, god, they're so hard to hit. <sighs> Whoa! Okay. Jesus. Is he casting fucking sunlight spear? That is an advanced boy. It's an advanced boy with his faith. Casting goddamn sunlight spear. What does he think he is? Gwen? So I think that was sunlight spear. Anyways, interesting place to put a charcoal pine. We're just gonna... See, but sometimes I can hit them. I guess two-handed is a little bit easier. Uh, luckily, it's possible to basically infinitely redo crystal lizards in this game. You don't la lose out on anything, bruh. Shouldn't have your back turned against the door. Haven't you watched fucking kick ass? That that movie. I caught clips of that movie uh on YouTube. The first kick ass and I was just thinking, I was like people really think that movie was like badass cuz I remember like when that movie came out, it was all about kick ass and everybody was like all over how like hit girl is the coolest and looking back at it now that just just seems like really cringe edgy that movie uh, I liked it too when I watched it but now I looked back on it and I was like seriously it's just like really it's like that edgy cringe superhero like you know the cringe type the the one that's like well we're really we swear and we're super bloody, but not in like the the boys way, which is like where it is like an actual interesting commentary on superheroes. Uh, it's just the the stupid way. And then the second movie came out, which was like absolutely terrible. The Jim Carrey in it. That's the one I remember as well. It was just bad. Look at this Skelly. What is this Skelly doing? Sorry Skelly, my bad. Knocked you over a bit. But yeah. That's my and that is Mr. Sketchhead's review of Kick Ass uh 2022. If you there's a bonfire in here. And fucking Abyss Fever. Weird. Okay. There is no bonfire here in the normal game, right? It's What the hell is in there? I don't know about Abyss Fever, boys. Really, I don't. I'm gonna jump on the bonfire, though. Hop on that dick. And yeah, this is a convenient. I, it makes sense because this boss always had. I mean, this is an easy boss, but it has like a weirdly annoying run back. I never understood why. So yeah. If you want to watch, if you want other movie reviews, you can listen to my podcast. <laughs> nah. I don't have a podcast. Everybody and their... Oh, shit. 
Everybody and their mother has a podcast now. Seriously. It's the coolest thing to do. It's easy to do podcasts. I know talking about easy to do content coming from a gaming YouTuber is just a little bit hypocritical. But it's kind of true. Fucking hell, this is a... They're kind of beating my ass too. What are these attack windows on his weapon? Look at that. Oh, do I not have... Uh, I have this. Cool. Unfortunately, I did not have... Um... I did not know you have patches here. That's pretty bombing. So yeah, again, the podcast thing is... Whoa, hello there. Vengeful minor spirit. Um, yeah, podcasts. What was I saying about podcasts? Yeah, they're pretty easy. Easy content. I mean, they're not easy if you actually want to have a good one. As in, like, have actually interesting topics, interesting people, and all that. Then they're not easy. But if you want, like, the version that most podcasts are, where it's just, like, some idiots talking about some dumb shit. Uh, it's, it's a different story. Mm, the audio is just very pleasant here. Whoa, okay, yeah, 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 I ran out of stamina. This is speedrun territory right here, by the way, if you don't know. This is where you get your weapon upgraded. There's like a bunch of upgrade materials. Your rapier. It's like the best weapon in the game. I just rolled through that thing. <laughs> yeah, that is not a smart idea, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I have 30k souls again. Probably come from killing the Forlorn. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. Before I head to the actual boss, I'm gonna try going back. Because Ornifex is... Oh no, but I haven't unlocked Ornifex, have I? Because I haven't gotten the key. And these key locations in this game are mixed the hell up with this mod. I don't know where jack shit is. God, the wind is crazy. I need to set up a wind turbine, like legit. You know. The government is like all over sponsoring solar panels. Sponsor fucking wind turbines over here. Like, it's what we need. It's what the people want, you know. Oh, he's back. Homeboy is back. And he's gonna be out there using... He's a zoner. No, he's not a zoner. He's kind of a zoner. Yeah, I know. You're using your friends, right? What the hell was that hitbox? Uh, God, I hate zoners. Except that shot in Injustice 2. No, 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 no. Think about it. He could have done that smarter, but... He didn't. He got outplayed. <clears throat> and that's how you defeat Guile people in Street Fighter. I don't know what the hell I'm even talking about. That really looks like something you could walk up on, but it's not. Yeah, again, back to what I was saying, the key locations are honestly kind of a bitch. Because, like, key items, I should say. So I don't have the coal. 
I don't have Ornifex's thing. A key. Hmm. It's not the best. It's not the best. Anyways, uh, I think this does not lead back to where I was. This should does this should not lead anywhere. Besides the hide lance or hide lance lance blah blah. Oh no, it does lead here. You can go back upstairs. Yeah, okay. I think as I'm going to head back to the bonfire, I'm going to start slowly wrapping up this episode here. Um, there is still some enemies here. We're gonna have a bad time. And I don't even think you can take this path to go... Maybe you can. I'm gonna say to go fully back up, but it looks like you can. What the hell? Is this one of those enemies like from the DLC? Okay. This episode is gonna run over time because I'm getting fucked up. That is Sunlight Spear. Oh shit. Right at the finish line. Ouch. Well, okay, I think that really is gonna end it. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed uh, this episode of Tales of Drang Lake. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And yeah, I'll catch all of you next time. Peace out and goodbye.